already have dirt on my face because <laughs> I've already been outside. It's about 11 o'clock, which is a little late for me to get started. And I'm hoping that my dogs don't follow me out the door. Today, I have to put some of those Homestead Heart um, seedlings in the ground. They're getting too big to be in this little tray. So hopefully, I brought the tray over here, but I'm not sure if I brought the shovel. No, I didn't. Here's the shovel. So we're going to try to get some Kushaw in today as well as the honeydew melons. I think um, all of those have already come up and I don't wanna wait any longer because you know there's not enough room in those little trays for them to, this is a big seed, and it's not enough room for them to sprawl out and do their thing. So here we go. Not everything is up, but most of it is. So um, let's get down here and I'll show you. Okay, so this is, the Kushaw, and I have two of those out of the three that came up. And then, what is this? Spaghetti squash, and just one. And then the honeydew, I have three and one more, well, four coming, four, but that one's too small. So I'm gonna get these two Kushaw out of here first because we're, because we're near the Kushaw. And then the honeydew, I'm gonna put over there near the cantaloupe, although the rabbits are getting me on that side. So, oh, what to do, what to do? <laughs> Try to put it in the sun because it seems like they're going after the ones that are in the shade. So the honeydew, you see this right down here? One little one is down here, so I'm gonna leave that one alone, but I'm gonna put these four in the ground. So in all, I'm gonna put six seedlings. What is this over here? Can oh, canary melon. All of those came up, all three of them. So we're gonna try to put the kusha in real quick and the honeydew, no, and the honeydew, yeah. And the honeydew and the canary melon. So let's get it started.
scared me. Okay, the Kushaw is in. Ouch! <laughs> it's one lime tree. It stung me. It's back, by the way. <laughs> this branch has got to go. It stuck me. He did it on purpose, tree. I know you're still here. I watered you this morning. You know why you're mad at me? Okay, I broke him back broke those branches off i'm not trying to kill my tree though <laughs> so what do we have here we have honeydew hmm let me put the honeydew over here yeah put it right here there's oleander fighting back look at the kusha it's going up the um red tip pontinia pontinium it was first first it was going here though first it was going there that's that is oleander oleander is very pretty but is very poisonous and he can't even burn the joker you got to put it somewhere <laughs> because the fumes will make you sick i didn't know that when i planted it so let's go ahead and put the honeydew around the crepe myrtle how about that i'm gonna move you back so you can see Canary melon.
run in, run in, in, run in, run in, run in, run in, in, in run in, run in. <laughs> oh Lord, I thought I was taping. Anyway, I gave you up close and personal shot of the canary melon. They're all in. Where'd I put that straw? I don't know where it went. Might be sitting on it. <laughs> it's hot out here. It's about 12 in the afternoon and I am gonna stop for today. You know, they got, let's see, heat exhaustion is the first stage and I'm a little tired. Heat cramps is the next stage. I didn't get to that yet. And then there's heat stroke. So I'm gonna get out of this Texas sun. I'll see y'all guys on inside, inside. This is what I have left of the tray. Honeydew melon. I had some Brussels sprouts pop up. I have one um, seed left for, what is this? I have one seed, I'm laying on the grass like I'm in the park. I have one seed left for the kushaw, so I'm gonna see if that's gonna come up. Spaghetti squash squash, one came up. And yeah, the honeydew. I got two, four, five honeydew, but only four ready. These two and these two, this one just popped up. There's the Brussels sprouts. Remember when I lost those seeds? They're coming up. <laughs> So let me make sure I don't have any additional plants, seeds in here because there's another Brussels sprout right there, right there. <laughs> Things happen. Anyway, I'm gonna get up and move my little tail away from here and get some water for myself and for these seedlings. And I'll see you inside, okay? And I'm inside. So, um, it was getting really hot out there, so I decided to stop. <laughs> so I was not gonna be all laid out in that heat. I've been working in, in the yard since about, I don't know, seven, six, seven o'clock this morning, and now it's around 12, so enough is enough. Right, Jamerica? Yes. <laughs> I know I'm only me. <laughs> I got my iced tea. So all I got in the ground, well, I shouldn't say all. I got some, um, Honeydew melon and the two kushaw, so five plants, and I did some off, I did some melons off, off camera. But from that seedling tray that I planted from a Homestead Heart about a week, a week and a half ago, um, the canary, um, the honeydew melons, they all came up, so I put them out, and then I had two of the three kushaw push out so far. So I put this tray back into the shady, somewhat shady area because this Texas sun is baking everything. I have to hide my seedlings. I got them hit under tables and under plants, <laughs> anything to keep them from being burnt up. And it's not that the plant is, is being burnt up. It's the roots, um, I mean, the leaves and the roots are drying out. So if you have something in a small seedling tray and it's extremely hot, Alexa, what's the temperature outside? Right now, it's 88 degrees Fahrenheit. Tonight, expect a low of 75 degrees. Okay, so it's 88 degrees right now. It might get higher before the sun goes down. Hot enough for me. I put those five in the ground and I watered them in. I used some, um, a little bit of um, fish emulsion on top of that. Um, I don't think I should have, but I watered in real good anyway. Um, <laughs> it should be fine. It should be just fine. So the thing today is to remember it is hot out there and I have that little neck thing, that, that neck fan. I'll show you on just a minute. Just, just a minute. All right. So I have these little neck fans. This one is a cheaper one. It doesn't adjust. This one, I still have it in the box. It does. I'm a little afraid of it because I don't know if it has lithium batteries in it or not. And I don't know if I want that lithium battery, battery close to my neck. So I'm gonna have to research these a little bit more because I didn't, I didn't think about it before I bought them, but they, they work. You press these little buttons and you hear that? That is air blowing right up under your neck, right up under my hairline, see that? But I don't know, I'm not too comfortable with it right now. And it has two or three speeds on it. So one, two, three. Same thing with this one. This one is adjustable and this one isn't. Um, I got it online. I, I hear that they're at the big box stores. They're, they're showing up everywhere, but I'm a little concerned about the battery and where it's at and how 
you know, I don't want anything to leach through my skin. So I'm gonna have to research this. I don't find out two years from now, everybody got all kind of weird stuff going on in their bodies. So, I don't know, I bought two of them. I'll use them every now and then. It's kind of like the cell phone, keeping it to your ear is not good. That's why you, you know, I always put mine on speaker. Anyway, <laughs> this is Jamerica 5288. I've talked enough. I got five plants in the ground, but I'm proud of myself. Five plants on camera in the ground. Did a lot of work today, this morning. <sighs> and I'm tired. So once you get tired, remember to stop and go ahead and get yourself some drink and stay in the shade if you can. I know some of you guys work outdoors. Remember to take your breaks. I used to work out at the airport on that tarmac. And that, that, I mean, I used to be out there with the guys because uh, the guys did most of the work. I was a planner. And that tarmac, that heat from that the, 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 the flight line, would just bounce back up. It was black and it would bounce back up and it, you would get a sunburn from the ground, believe it or not. It wouldn't be from above. It hit the tarmac and then you get burned. So be careful out there. Drink your water. I'm drinking tea. Tea is not good as a diuretic. Drink your water. If you have to, put a little bit of salt in there. Put a little salt and some a little bit of um, baking soda in there so you can hold on to the water longer. And I wish you luck. All right, this is America 5288. Remember to take care of yourself, okay? And remember to take care of everybody else once you're good. Once you're good. You can't take care of everybody else unless you're good. You can't run on fumes. You got to have states. Maintain something for yourself. Always. Always have a reserve. So that's my words of wisdom and I got to go. <laughs> Bye.